Some scammers are pretty clever, and some are just dumb. And today I've got a pretty dumb one, and I want to show you how I called him out. So there's a scammer out there living in Nigeria named Mr. Beckham. And my friend Deo has been leading him on for over a year now. And you can head on over to his channel to see what he's put this guy through. But Mr. Beckham is claiming to be a US federal agent who distributes grant money to people in need. And Deo, who's been going by the name of Gary, offered to refer some clients to Mr. Beckham. But the first client that Deo referred to him was none other than yours truly. And I decided to go under the alias of Mike Roch. Mike Crotch! Mike Crotch! So I reached out to him and I said, Good afternoon, Mr. Beckham. My friend Gary suggested that I contact you regarding a new grant available from the federal government. Would you please let me know if the application period is still open? I look forward to your response. Hakuna Matata, sincerely, Michael. And as you would expect, I got a response from Mr. Beckham that said, Are you ready to fill the form now? Wow, this guy doesn't waste any time, does he? He sent me a list of questions and he said, Send back answer to all the questions accordingly, sir. Hope you understand, sir. So then I make up a bunch of information and find some random house in Colorado that I claim is my address. And then I send it to him. But then he tells me that the next step is to upload my driver's license to a link that he's about to send me. So then I get a text message from id.me with a link where I can upload my license. And either Mr. Beckham doesn't know what this text message from id.me says, or he's hoping that I won't take the time to read it. Because it says, your identity is being used to log into Colorado DLE to apply for government benefits or healthcare services. Do not click this link if you do not recognize this transaction. Please click the following link to upload a picture of your document. Okay, so this isn't about a government grant at all. The scammer is just using that as a way to get me to verify my identity through ID.me because he's over at the Colorado Department of Labor and Unemployment website trying to file for unemployment benefits under my name. Or under Mike Crotch's name. Hey, has anybody seen Mike Crotch lately? <laughs> <laughs> and if you think scammers in Nigeria can't qualify for unemployment benefits and find a way to get that money sent to them, you would be wrong. I made a whole video about this that you can go watch as soon as you're done with this one. And the government recently started implementing ID.me verification to prevent this kind of fraud, but it looks like scammers have already found a way around this. So obviously I didn't do this because I don't have an ID for Mike Roch. <laughs> so I just tell Mr. Beckham that the link has expired. So he sends me another one, but I just keep playing dumb, pretending like I'm too old to figure it out. So then he gets frustrated and just cuts to the chase and tells me that I've qualified. He says, congratulations, Mr. Michael Roch. We have verified your information and it shows that you have qualified to receive the grant. Kindly keep this information safe and confidential as it would be requested from you at the point of delivery by the prize patrol team. Oh my God! And I'm like, great to hear. He says, don't disclose your winning to anyone. You will be disqualified automatically. Not until you get your grant, we do this to make sure real winners claim their money. We had situations where other people claimed what is not theirs. Interesting. He goes on to say, now you're to choose the amount you wish to claim from the list. Are you ready so I can show you the list? Are you ready? Are you ready? So he sends me a chart that shows me the different amounts that I can get depending on how much I want to pay. And it looks more like a lottery than a federal program. I say, so you're saying I pay you in order to receive the money I am eligible for? Yes, sir. FedEx agent will deliver your winning to your doorstep as soon as you complete your processing. Let me know how much you are ready to claim, sir, so I can inform FedEx agent right away. And I don't want to be too greedy, so I just choose $150,000. He says your $150,000 will be processed now so that your winning can be forwarded to the FedEx for quick delivery to your address as soon as you complete your processing. Are you ready to make the payment? Are you ready? Okay, so it's obvious why he was trying to go with the identity theft route, because this method is pretty pathetic. But you know someone has fallen for this, so I have to make this video. He then asks, which of the option did you want to use in making your payment? Gift card, Zelle, Bitcoin machine. And I'm pretending to be an old guy who doesn't know about any of these options. So I just ask, do you accept check? He said, no, sir. And then I'm like, okay, what kind of gift card? Nike gift card, eBay gift card, or vanilla gift card. You can get any one out of this three type of card and make sure it's fully activate before leaving the store. Scammers and their gift cards. 
I ask, is Nike and eBay issuing the grant? I'm confused. He says, once you scratch off the back code and send me the clear picture of the cards showing the codes and the receipts, we just need the back code to complete your processing, sir. How long will it take you to get the cards, sir? And I'm not gonna send gift cards, so I just say, this is very confusing. Can I work with my bank to send the money from my account to you? And then he responds with some banking info for a guy named David And this is a US bank account. So you're probably wondering, if this guy is in Nigeria, why is he asking me to send money to an American bank? Well, the answer is that this guy is most likely a money mule working for him. And I want to get him busted. So Mr. Beckham says, you can make the deposit to that account information now. Are you ready to make the transfer now? Are you I say, I must go to my bank to initiate the transfer. Sir, who is David? He says, that's our cashier, sir. And that's the account information that's available right now. And then I tell him that I'm not gonna be able to go to the bank until tomorrow morning. And he says, if you need to wait till the morning, that means you're getting the gift card in the morning, sir. And I'm like, so don't send the money to David? He said, if you are ready to make the transfer now, send the money to the account information. But if you can't make the payment now, just get a gift card in the morning. Hope you understand, sir. Okay, he obviously would prefer me to send the gift card instead of going through David because he wants to keep David a secret. But I'm going through David anyway. So the next morning I woke up and I did what I do every morning and that's have a bowl of Magic Spoon. Do you love cold cereal but avoid it because of all the sugar? Well, Magic Spoon is cereal reinvented. It's got zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, and only four net grams of carbs in each serving. That's only 140 calories per serving, and it's also keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, low-carb, and GMO-free. Magic Spoon has eight delicious flavors. Cocoa, fruity, frosted, peanut butter, blueberry, cinnamon, maple waffle, and cookies and cream. The maple waffle and cookies and cream were limited time flavors earlier this year, but they sold out so quickly that they're still offering it. And cookies and cream is my go-to flavor, and I don't feel guilty for starting out my day with a big bowl of sugar, since Magic Spoon has zero grams of sugar per serving. Magic Spoon is so confident in their product that it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they'll refund you your money, no questions asked. Click the link below and use code PLEASANTGREEN at checkout to get $5 off your order. What flavor are you gonna try? So after breakfast, I said to Mr. Beckham, good morning, I will be headed to the bank shortly, cause I'm obviously not gonna do the gift card thing. But he says, good morning, sir. Send me the receipt confirmation once you made the deposit, sir. So I have the banking info for a guy named David, but I don't have his phone number. So I say, do you have a phone number for David? They may ask me. So he ends up giving me a number and I think I may be able to call it and find out who this mule is. Now, I wasn't really gonna go to the bank, but I pretended that I was. So I find some background lobby noise on YouTube and I call up David. Hello? 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 Uh, hi, my name is Michael and I'm at the bank. I'm looking for David. I know, my voices suck. I'm not Kit Boga or Pierogi, but try to bear with me. Yes, I am, I am too. Okay. Am I speaking with David? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are speaking with David. How are you doing? Okay, I don't want to judge, but that sounds strangely Nigerian. Hi, I'm at my bank right now, and they are... I'm sorry? Are you ready to make the payment? Yes, I'm at my bank, and I'm wanting to make the payment, but the bank is asking me if I know you, and so I just want to call and make sure that this is really David. Yeah, this man, this man. Do you want to talk to the teller at my bank? Okay, go ahead. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to hand the phone over to them. Did you want to talk to him? Okay, hold on. Hello, is this David? Hello. Hello, is this David? Yeah, yeah. Hi David. My name is Brian and I work at the bank and I'm here with Michael. And I just want to verify that you are kind of who you say you are. We want to make sure that Michael isn't sending money to a stranger. And so 
Uh, I was just wondering if you can con confirm who you are and what this is about. Um, I'm David. David Arthur Astor. I'm not being capable to share with everybody with anybody. I'm sorry. I'm having a hard time understanding you. It's me. It's Arthur Astor. That is not important to just anybody. It's Arthur Astor. Just. You know, I really, I'm having a hard time understanding you, sir. Is I just want to make sure that Michael knows, you know, who he's sending money to. Uh, Michael knows what he's doing. Michael knows what he's doing. You hear me? Michael knows what he's doing. If you can provide Michael with some kind of documentation that you are who you say you are or that, that you really are with the federal government, then we can proceed with the transfer, but we just need to see some documentation from you. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I will send it to you. Okay, send it to Michael, please. Thank you. Okay, so soon he texts me a driver's license for an older white dude in Georgia, and his name is David And this is definitely not the David that I was speaking to on the phone. But who is he? And does he know that he's involved in receiving funds for a Nigerian scammer? Or is he himself a victim who thinks that he's working for a legitimate organization? Either way, his hands are dirty, and I'll get to him later. But Mike Roch is still at the bank, and he's all sorts of confused, so he calls up Mr. Beckham to get to the bottom of it. Hello. Mr. Beckham? Yeah. Mr. Beckham, you sound exactly like David Are you, are you the same person as David? Um, you sound exactly like him. I think I need to call back David and make sure. So then I call back David to compare his voice with Mr. Beckham's one more time to make sure. Is this David? 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 David, you are the same person as Mr. Beckham. What? <laughs> you sound exactly the same. I recorded you. You're the same person. Is this not you? <laughs> no. You are Mr. Beckham. Are you playing me? How in the world has a guy that dumb ever managed to scam anybody? Sadly, that was the last of our correspondence, but I did go ahead and search for the real David and I found his actual phone number. But he wasn't picking up any of my calls. Mr. Beckham has either trained him well or tipped him off. But hopefully the authorities will have an easier time getting a hold of him because I sent over everything that I had on him. And that's why I'm blurring his info because there should be an active investigation going on. And David better be ready with a good story for why he's receiving funds on behalf of a Nigerian scammer. But Mr. Beckham is still out there and if you want to see the next chapter in this story, you can go follow my buddy Deo who's got a great scam baiting channel for you to subscribe to. Also, my analytics are showing me that 70% of you watching this video right now are not subscribed to my channel. So do the right thing and click on that button to get notified of more adventures surrounding scams. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. I'll just wait for you guys to hit the subscribe button. Go ahead, I'll wait. <laughs>